Today on my studio, using main stage for backing tracks. Welcome to Mine Studio. My name is Nathan. With me as always is my tech director and main stage expert, Ronald. And today we're going to take a look at using main stage for backing tracks. Now this is the final in our series of main stage videos. We've done four of them so far about how to use main stage for keys, for electric drums, for electric guitar, and finally here for backing tracks. Now while the other three I would highly recommend using main stage for if you'd like Backing tracks isn't as great in main stage. It can be done, and if you already use main stage for worship and you've got the whole setup already set up and you'd like to try to use it for backing tracks, go for it. But I will warn you, it is not as versatile as dedicated multi-tracks programs like the Prime app uh, by Loop Community, specifically because you can't edit song structure in main stage. It's just not made for that. So you'd have to have the song exactly how you wanted it before you imported it into main stage. So let's take a look at how to do this. It's actually pretty simple. So we just go to the file, um, our multi-track file, and it'll have all of the stems in there, the WAV files or AIFF or whatever, whatever format they are. And what you do is you just take them and you drag each track or each file into the track that you would like it to be in. If I had a bigger screen, this would be uh, much easier. So I'm gonna drag some of these in, make sure they all go to different channels. The template that comes with main stage to do backing tracks with is only eight tracks. And most um, worship backing tracks or multi-tracks are more than eight tracks, especially including the clicks and cues so you'll probably have to make your own template or download one that has more tracks available I only had um, eight tracks available including clicks and cues so you're just gonna hear what it sounds like um, and you know what I'm gonna name it too just double click I surrender all can't spell there we go I'll change it on there for you go to our perform mode and here it is um, these are each individual track you can control, you can solo, mute, you can see the playback going on right here in very small detail. Um, so I'm going to hit play and hopefully you'll hear what it sounds like. Intro, two, three, four. So you can see here it, it does work, um, but after I started I really can't do much. So it needs to be exactly how you want it um, because you can't adjust much once you get going. I can stop it and then play again, but it'll just play back from the beginning. You can you can change Intro, two, you can three. change so it doesn't play back from the beginning. But again, you can't start and stop at sections, so you need to have it ready to go. So that is how you use backing tracks on main stage. Again, if you already have main stage set up and you want to try it, or maybe you want to use backing tracks with another main stage setup like keyboards as well you can all you can put those all on the same screen um, but not as functional as multi-tracks app because you can't move around the sections of the song you can't easily change keys and you can't easily change the tempo but it can be done so there you go backing tracks or multi-tracks on main stage Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video was helpful for you. Hope this whole series of main stage videos was helpful for you. If they were, please subscribe to see more videos just like this, and I will see you back here next week.